What does it look like to have these Christmas dinners and Thanksgiving dinners where there could be a reactive situation potentially and you've handled it poorly in the past, but here are five ways that you don't have to handle it yeah, poorly. Yeah, five tips. All right, number one, we want to normalize the constant and regular use of the clearing structure. You know, when something happens in a situation with your spouse, kids, work, family, anything, instead of reacting to it, you're gonna respond, you're going to own your feelings and take control of the situation. Number two, take breaks. Seriously, go outside, take a walk, or get some fresh air. And while you're taking that walk, I want you to look at this issue from an emotionally neutral POV. Number three, tell yourself this has an end. You will come to a point that you will have to say your goodbyes. Envision how you want to end well. Number four, lean on your partner. Watch out for their possible nonverbal cues and come to their defense if they need it. Remember, you're married to your spouse and not your family, so put some extra empathy and compassion sauce or gravy on this one, especially if you know your spouse has potential issues with mm -hmm. your foo. Numero five, <laughs> number five, boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. Remember, it's your holiday as well. Talking about some self-care possibly, right? You don't need to bend over backwards to make Aunt Sally happy, even though she's had four glasses of Franzia already. 